Welcome to Sleepy Head Stories today. We love to read books, be silly, and play. Me and my mommy are here every week to read you great stories that all are unique. Join us at bedtime, or bath time, or breakfast. We promise it's better than a trip to the dentist. Welcome to Sleepy Head Stories. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Sleepy Head Stories, Happy New Year 2022. We hope you had a great holiday season. Happy New Year, healthy, right? Happy New Year. Yes. We have some exciting news to share with you all. If you're listening to us, you can also now watch us on video. You can watch us on YouTube doing this podcast, and you can watch us on the Spotify app if your parents have the Spotify app. We are doing a video now. I can't promise it's going to be great quality, <laughs> but we're doing it. It's kind of creepy how you said you you guys are able to, like, watch us now. I know, right? Like, like, you're able to watch us now. No. Well, video. So, yeah, we're here. We're making a video. I don't really know what I'm doing with it, but yeah. the video quality is not that great. But we're doing it. Yeah. 2022. Let's give it a try, right? Yeah, we're just playing a video game, and you told me to just sit down here and talk in a bowl. I'm talking right now, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So, what else do we have exciting this video? We're interviewing Sue. Yes, we're going to be interviewing an author this episode. She is the co-creator, one of the co-creators of the Land of Lots books. There are a series of books here we're going to be reading over the next few weeks. And in this episode, at the end of the episode, you're going to hear from her. Conchetta asks her a few questions, and it's really cool. Always cool to listen to an author, right? Yeah. A real author, a real creator. And the Land of Lots books are all about a little girl who travels through outer space. Outer and she, space? Yes. She's, a, she's like a space girl. Her name is Love Lot, and she finds a land that has these strange animals on it she's never seen before, and they're called the umlauts. And she meets them all, and then she has to decide if she's going to leave or if she's going to stay in the land of the umlauts. And each umlaut has its own special quirky personality, and she loves them all. And they ask you on the back of these books... Do you see yourself a lot in one of the umlauts, or do you see yourself a little in all of them? So they all have special traits, each, each umlaut. We'll be hearing all about it. We're going to be listening to a narrated version of it by one of the co-creators of the book. So I'm not going to be reading it. They, Sue will be reading it, and then you're going to listen to the interview afterwards. What do you think? The umlauts kind of look like Animal Crossing characters. They do. The the, the um, illustrations are really really cute, and print and like let me show you one of my favorite ones. Like so, this is Love Lot. She just got to the land and she's saying hello, looking for somebody. Really cool. And so next we're gonna listen to. Oh, we have a shout out. I forgot. We have oh, a shout, shout out. out. That's right. You're right. That's right. All right, guys. So. I'll read it. Let's get ready for a shout out and then we'll listen to the book and then we'll hear the interview with Sue. Okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so you have the shout out paper. Let me just hit this and guys that are watching, this is how it works. Until I find a better way to edit it, you're gonna see a little bit of the of the behind the scenes. So let me just see this. And then we're gonna add home shout out. Shout out time! Shout out time! Guys, we have our first shout out of 2022, and it goes to... Me. No. Well, yes. Conchetta's <laughs> going to read it. Go ahead, Conchetta, read it. Hello from San Francisco. My daughter Ursula listens to you two every night as she falls asleep. Tomorrow... January 6th. January 6th is her seventh birthday, and she's... And she's be thrilled to hear a shout out in your next episode, if possible. Thank you, XOXO Heidi. Thank you so much, Ursula. Happy birthday! Happy seventh birthday. Seven. Who else is seven? <gasps> Mama. I wish. You can jet at seven. Also, we wish you the happiest birthday. 
And thank you for listening to us every night before you go to sleep. That's so sweet. All the way in San Francisco, which is on the opposite coast of the U.S. It's all over the world. Do you remember where California is? Can you remember? Let's see if Conchetta real quick can remember. So, hold up. Can you? Here, I'll hold the globe. United States, right? That's right. Well, okay. So, here. This. That's right. California's all the way over there. Ursula. Thank you. Happy birthday. And hi to your mom, Heidi, for writing to us. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. By the way, Ur Ur um, Ursula is a cute name. I like it. It is a cute name. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys. So next up, we are going to listen to the actual reading of Land of Lots, the very first one. Mama, okay? Can yes. you, like, make... Once we're like professional, Sorry, to save it. Once we're professional YouTubers, like we'll probably be never. Um, can I? Can you like start a series where like where I read all the Land of Lots books? Sure. Like a series of it. Yeah. So guys, okay, are you ready? Here we go. Pay attention. We're going to hear the story, and then we're going to listen to Conchetta interview Sue Willis. All right, let's listen, guys. Let's listen. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. Land of Lots, written by Christian Carl and illustrated by Joyce Fan with Chuck and Sue Willis. Love Lot was just a girl roaming through space. till she came upon a strange and magical place. She decided to take a closer look. And so begins our very first book, The Land of Lots. After wandering about everywhere, hello, hello, hello. She discovered the umlauts who lived there. There's one. It was awkward at first, and no one knew what to say. Uh, er, uh. Then Lovelot broke the ice with a casual, hey. Hey, I'm Lovelot. Hey, we're the umlauts. She thought getting to know them could be fun. And she quickly grew to love every single one. She loved Cubby because he loved to hug lots, even though he held her too tight and wouldn't let go. Hey, don't you just feel it in your soul, man? Um, I'm feeling it more in my back. She loved Rory because he loved to roar lots, even though he couldn't remember to keep his voice low. Yeah, let's rock and roar! Or we could rock and whisper. She loved Paige because she loved to read lots, even though she was an uncomfortably clever girl. Just a little light reading for me today, thank you. Light isn't a heavy enough word. She loved Foggy because he loved to daydream lots, even though he was lost in his own little world. Land of lots to Foggy, come in Foggy. Shh, you'll wake up the umicorns. She loved Peggy because she loved to cook lots, even though she couldn't help but make a mess. Wait till you taste my pancakes. I think I already have. She loved Bucky because he loved to build lots, even though it wouldn't be wrong to call him careless. Hmm, now where did I put my hammer? Whoa, it's in your hand. Well, what do you know? She loved Rainy because she loved to garden lots, even though leaping before she looked often got her into trouble. I love puddles. And that makes one of us. 
She loved Gil because he loved to talk lots. Even though his tails were so tall, he needed a bigger speech bubble. Blah 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 She loved Penny because she loved to knit lots, even though she wasn't a big fan of sharing. You can't spare one ball of yarn. Sorry, but I need it all. What are you knitting? A boat? Maybe. She loved Dewey because he loved to help lots, even though he helped himself more than he cared to admit. Hey, what happened to all the oomberries we picked? It's a mystery. She loved Rudy because he loved to laugh lots, even though he could go from happy to sad lickety split. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! I think I've had enough fun for one day. That night, Love Lot went back to her ship, looking a little weary. Must sleep. And dreamt of how peaceful her life in space used to be. <sighs> the next morning, she woke up to a big cubby grin. He had a surprise for her, and all the umlauts pitched in. I know it's not space, but we love having you around the place. A house painted purple with stars. Let the adventures begin. Hey, please say you'll stay, man. Sounds like a plan. Hey guys, we are here with co-creator Sue Willis for the books I was just telling you about, Land of Lots, and she's going to be telling us all about herself, why she created this book, how she created the books. And some other fun stuff about future books. So let's get into it. Hi, Sue. Hi, Cor. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to be here with you today. Well, we have some great questions for you. But first, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, great. I would love to. Thank you. And again, hi, everybody. It's Sleepy Head Stories. Um, so my name is Sue Willis, and I am co-creator of the books you're about to hear read called Land of Lots. And I am somebody who I'm a mother to a daughter, and she's 14 years old. And when she was a little girl, um, we would just read everything under the sun together so i have a real love of children's literature and what i usually do during the day is i'm in advertising and i make tv commercials so you may be watching tv and see some of the commercials on air but i always knew after reading so many books with my daughter that my true love was speaking to children and reading and sharing stories that are wonderful and magical and 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 taking that and, and focusing on that um, more than, you know, focusing even on advertising and TV commercials. So children's stories are just my love. I think they're great stories. Oh, fantastic. Sounds like so much fun. Sounds like the job I should have had, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but fun and it's crazy. Oh, that's great. Um, so Conchetta has come up with some uh, questions for you. So she's going to ask them now. There's just four questions. Is that okay? That would be wonderful. Thank you, Conchetta. Okay, so here we go. Hi, Sue. I just have a few questions to ask you. One of the first questions is, what was your job in creating these books? So, 
So that's a great question, Conchetta. Thank you for asking. I have to say my role in creating these books was seeing an idea and just saying yes and then taking it from there and taking that original very small yet magical thought and taking the time to make it into a big world step by step along with my co-creators author christian carl and my husband and also fellow co-creator chuck willis we saw an idea together as a group that had already been working together really hard at work all the time through the years and we said wow let's do what we do at work but let's do it for ourselves and each other and for um children and we can communicate children and so that's what my role was was working on a team so a lot of teamwork and and developing and writing and rewriting and and just taking many many years actually to get the stories right and be very patient in doing so second question why did you choose to help create these books okay so i would say that also in why i wanted to create the books i would say that i really felt after many years of reading so many children's books that i wanted to be a part of the conversation and the stories and and be a part of creating the sorts of discussions that we have with the children and that children are learning in classrooms and with their parents and other loved ones and other adults we wanted to be a part of of creating something that would be discussed we thought we had a lot to give third question will there be more land of lots books in the future ah uh, that is another eight question yes we have been writing these books for eight years and we've really taken our time because the idea from the very beginning is that they it is a whole world land of lots is a whole new magical world somewhere out in outer space and we knew that it had to be more than one book and more than even the three books you're about to read but there are books in total. And so I think that, you know, hopefully everybody will look forward to at least one new book a year. And I could give a little spoiler alert because the next book after these three will be coming out sometime in 2022 and it will be Plan Foggy. So Foggy is the doggy and he's a bit of a space cadet. And Again, just a little of a spoiler alert. They're going to have to go into outer space to get him to bring him back from somewhere. That is a great idea. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love yeah, it. They all have to use their teamwork and their different skills and their different strengths and weaknesses because Foggy's a bit of a daydreamer. And so they're going to have to go find him and bring him back down to the land of lost. And now for a fun question. The last one. What is your favorite food? Ah. <laughs> oh, I love this question, Conchetta. Um, because I love food. I love to cook. I cook all the time and I love to cook for family and friends and my favorite food is pasta. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pasta any which way, spaghetti, rigatoni, um penne, all different ways with sauce, with sauce, with shrimp, with chicken, with vegetables, with nothing, with butter, with cheese, with <laughs> pasta. Yes. <laughs> Ours too. Ours too. I tell Great. you that. Uh, Conchetta's father is a chef, so that's why we always ask, "What's your favorite food?" <laughs> oh boy, that's we amazing. Love it too. That's that's the job I would have wanted. Actually, <laughs> there you go. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Well, Sue, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to us all here at Sleepyhead Stories. I know the kids are all going to love it. They love when authors 
you know, call in and they get to listen to them. And I know they're, you're going to inspire a bunch. And again, just thank you so much. And parents, I'm going to let Sue give out some of her social media, her websites, also tell you where you can purchase all of the Land of Lots books, books because I know you guys are going to want to do that. So there you go. Thank you so much, Sleepy Head Stories. Thank you so much. And so um, please, parents, take a look at our Instagram at Land of Lots. Facebook is the Land of Lots series. And our website is thelandoflots.com. Again, the website is thelandoflots.com. And you can purchase our books on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, um, Books A Million, pretty much anywhere that books are sold. That is so awesome. Sue Willis, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Conchetta. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to this episode of Sleepyhead Stories, everyone. You can find us on all major podcast platforms. We're also on Instagram, Facebook. We have a YouTube channel where you can see videos of the podcast. And there is also now a feature on Spotify where you can watch videos of the podcast as well. Thank you all again for your continued support. In 2022, we have some really fun things planned for you all, and we wish you the best day or the best night, and we'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.